tell me, Kyle, um, how long have you been using an exaflator? It's not easy. When the first time I was hospitalized, because I had the morning and the doctor with him stayed with me the night. Do you remember uh, um, how long ago this was? I remember it was right after my graduation. So, on that one, I think. Yeah. So you feel that um, you uh, you had to go to the emergency because you had difficulty breathing? Yeah. And you had a lot of lung, lung secretions? Yeah, lung secretions. Yeah. And from my understanding, um, uh, you were inaxiflated in order to relieve some of the secretions. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was your first time that you had been exposed to yeah. the uh, inaxiflator. Yeah, first time I was introduced to it. Yeah. Did you find the inaxiflator uncomfortable? Um, we put on youth. It only got a bit sore, but other than that, not too bad. Not too bad? So you found it easy enough to um, uh, get accustomed to the unit? Yeah. Okay. Did you eventually purchase one? Yeah, we purchased one. You did, eh? And um, what pressures do you use? I'm not sure how to pass. Okay. Oh, you yeah. Now, now I know. I think around 40. Plus 40 minus 40. Yeah, plus 40 minus 40. Those are the usual pressures. Okay. Today, uh, you're 37, so, and you have one at home. When do you find the inexiflator most useful? It's one of the cold months of congestion. It helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, is there another time that you have found it useful as well? No, I get like food stuck in my throat. Okay. And at that time, when the, uh, you apply the inexiflator, uh, do you feel that the food is expelled out after the first try, or it takes several tries? It depends. It's not just going to go right away, or sometimes it could take 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca for additional comprehensive information.